Hey, welcome back. Dr. Drains with Apple Drains of North by God, Carolina. So we're back to our experiment here. And what I've done, this has been in here a couple of months. I've created three different French drain scenarios. And just as a quick update, uh, this is a scenario where we have stone around our perforated pipe with the holes in it. We got clay right on top of it. And I just cast a handful of um, grass seed on here just so you could see that it does grow. Now the next one over here, we've got our perforated pipe with stone and we have fabric. And if you can imagine this one and the next one, I've got the fabric laying on top of the stone and like a bowl and that I just threw clay on top of it. So what this simulates is the water coming from the top down. Same for here. And then the very last one, uh, as you can see, this is a little browner. Now all the yards here in North Carolina with fescue are brown because we've had very little rain here recently. So absolutely normal. It's not dead, it's just dormant. So this one, if you notice in the front, we've got two pipes. We've got our perforated pipe with stone and then we've got our solid pipe. Now the solid pipe goes through here and this is a T. So what happens is water hits here, goes straight down into that pipe and it leaks out. So this is all encapsulated together here. But again, I've got the stone and the fabric. So what I'm showing you is that inside your French drain, this is what's gonna happen. The water's gonna go through here and any water that doesn't end up in here that goes in the dirt uh, will slowly seep up into here or it'll slowly seep down. It actually is like a sponge and pulls it out. So we're gonna stop uh, taping here in just a second so we can set it up. And I'm gonna show you uh, one more thing. Sorry, Sarah, come over here. I want you to look in here. This is what happens with clay in North Carolina. It dries and what it does is it shrinks. If you look on the edges over here, the clay is actually shrinking. Same thing over here, it's actually shrinking. So what happens is the clay, as it gets moisture, it will expand and as it dries, it'll shrink. So if you put like a schedule 40 in the ground in clay, that clay is gonna move back and forth and schedule 40 has a tendency to crack on the on the heels especially up north like in where it's cold like in michigan ohio um, that ground gets water in it then it freezes so it'll expand and then it'll it'll thought when it thaws it actually contracts same thing with clay so that's why i don't like using schedule 40 it's a really good product it has its place uh, definitely not in any sort of clay though for sure we, we would not do that um, all right, so we're going to take a break and come back and uh, run our water experiment. So what we got is completely dry. The soil's dry. So let's see what happens in a yard for these three different kind of French drains uh, and surface drains when we get a massive rainstorm. All right, let's see. I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be exciting. Sarah, is it going to be exciting? Yes, it is. I can't wait. All right, see you in a second. All right, we're back. So what we're going to do is I got three buckets. They got about four gallons of water in it. I don't know if they'll all fit in there and see. They'll definitely fit in this one because it'll suck the water out. Let's see what happens when we have a big rainstorm. Um, I do want to point out something here. Sarah will come down to the front. You can see what happens when you don't have any fabric on top. I'm not talking about the sides of the trench or the bottom. When you don't have fabric on top, you see how the soil is starting to run into the rocks right here? What's going to happen is it's going to create a seal. It's not going to drain nearly as well. That's why we like to use the fabric. The fabric keeps the rock separate because the rock is what drains the French drain from the bottom. So water comes up or it comes down, usually comes up. Uh, it comes through the rock into the pipe. If this clay gets down here and starts plugging all this up because there's no fabric to protect it, it's not gonna flow. So just a side note, this is why we like to use the fabric. Now all fabric is not created equal. We use a very specific fabric. It's a geotextile, it's punched. It's six ounce, you're not gonna buy it at Lowe's. You're gonna have to buy this stuff online. We buy it online, it's no secret. So use the right fabric. All these people out here showing these videos of, oh, it's all plugged. You can absolutely use clay with uh, the right fabric. Clay with, clay with the wrong fabric, it's gonna plug every time. All right, so let's see what happens. Again, about four gallons. Let's try to be as even as possible. So what you're gonna find, a lot is this water is gonna make it through very quickly. All right, that's four gallons of water. Now look here. Now, if you look up here, you see the cracks in the soil? 
that's where the water's going through. Now what's gonna happen when the soil gets saturated again, it's gonna seal up and it's gonna lock. This is normal. So that's fine. Your first rainstorm, the coil is the the, the soil is super dry. It's gonna find the cracks, it's gonna run through, but look at this. Look what it's taking with it. It's taking all that soil into your French drain because it's not filtered. Not good. All right, we're gonna do this in real time. Got another four gallons. Now this is the one where we have filter fabric on. All right. You can see that coil, uh, that soil is just like a big old sponge. It's just because it's so, it's so dry right now, so dry, abnormally dry. Okay, four gallons in. As you can see, we're coming out there again, not nearly as muddy. It's coming through, it's being filtered through this filter here. So we're get, still getting some brown, but you're not getting the clumps of soil like we had in the other one. So it's filtering through the filter fabric. That's, that's clay. It has to go through the fabric. So if you got people telling you the fabric doesn't work, I mean, I mean, come on. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it will not stop it. And this is clay sitting directly on that fabric. But in all fairness, it's super dry clay. All right. Still in real time. Here's the fun one. Now, again, we have an open here to an open solid pipe. This is our French drain. This is meant to handle moisture from the bottom. This is meant to handle moisture from the top. So we have, if you, if Sarah will wash the top here, what you're gonna find, it's gonna be difficult for me to try to keep all this water in here. If you see, that surface inlet is just sucking all that water straight out, which is what we want. We don't want the water in the yard, standing in the yard. All right, there we go. Look at that. So again, we have a little brown tinge, but no chunks of clay. So it's filtering through the clay, coming through the fabric, into the stone, into uh, this French drain, it's leaking a little bit. But it's catching the surface water here. So the surface water is jumping right on top. So it rains, it comes down to the low spot, and it goes directly into the solid pipe. Easy stuff. So for all those people, again, who say that you cannot use fabric on clay, they're absolutely wrong. The correct answer is you need to use the right fabric for clay. And that's what we're doing here, super important. Don't buy it from Lowe's, huge mistake. Don't buy cheap stuff online. Uh, I've, I've had the other video, I'll tell you exactly what product to buy. Exactly, and it absolutely works. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go grab some more buckets. I'm gonna get this clay saturated, and then we're gonna do this again. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so what I've done is taken the hose and saturated these bins. So what you can see, once Sarah to really get in there, you see the mud that's flowing here? You can look up here. This is what happens when you have clay with no separation. And the, these large particles are gonna stay up here if you have a fabric. But when you don't have fabric, they're simply gonna flow right on out. So you're actually not helping yourself. So if you look up here, you notice, and I've completely saturated this, it's going down the cracks. It's like air, it's gonna take the path of least resistance. So it's gonna go straight on through. And if you don't have this, now and, and I want you to look at this. Now that water is almost completely clear. So what's happening in this water from the bottom is seeping up, getting into the pipe. So we're filtering up here, the water's getting down, and you can see it's starting to saturate, starting to sit on top a little bit. So the French drain is not designed to take surface water away at all. What a French drain is designed to do is to take the underneath water as it comes up, like you can see right there, right there, and it takes it away. So the surface water you have to handle a little differently. So I'm gonna come around, Sarah's gonna show you over here. This takes care of the surface water and that'll carry it out this big pipe. And then the French drain, see here, we'll take the water from the bottom up. So let's take our hose here, see if we can cheat a little bit. Let's go around this, try to get some water all the way into the bottom, there we go. Actually this is leaking right down here. Oh, gotta fix it. Right, 
So I'm going to have to fix my little container it goes. So if you notice, I bypassed the, see how clear that water is? That's what it's going to look like coming from the bottom up through the stone. So if you don't use a filter fabric on the top, you're going to send clay straight down. It's going to clog it up. It's going to be a mess. You've got to use filter fabric with clay. And I'll say it a thousand times and a thousand times more, you've got to use the right filter fabric. You notice, it's going straight through. This is surface water. All right. So let's pretend the rain's turned off now. This is going to take all the surface water that's pitched down to it. And then the French drain is going to handle the water coming up from the bottom. Okay, so, nutshell. French drain with rock and no fabric, bad in clay. French drain, from, you know, pulling from the water from the bottom up with the correct fabric, good. What's a better way of doing it? This way. Use a French drain and the same trench run a solid pipe, catch that surface water. Surface water instantly goes away. French drain catches any problems from underneath. So after it rains, this French drain will slowly dry out your yard. Um, this is the way we like to do it. Now, you can absolutely do it this way. Or if you want to save some money, just do it this way. I'm talking about just the surface on the top. You can catch some low spots, no problem. And you can get that water out of your yard as long as you don't have a problem with it sitting there. So if it's three or four days after it rains and your yard is a little bit saturated with water, you need a French drain, this side. If you want us to do it all at one time and it's way cheaper, let us do both at one time. If you really want to save some money if you're a DIY, dig a trench, put some T's in it, use some surface drains, make sure you go downhill, pretty important, and just get it out of your yard. Uh, but this way, if we're doing it, I definitely recommend this. This is the economy way. Uh, but for a super low spot, you probably want to do them both. All right, uh, we're going to keep this experiment going. I'm going to fix my bin, and uh, we'll, we'll cut back to you in a couple of months and show you what it looks like. All right, thanks for stopping by.